Batman and Flash's team-up has hit an emotional climax in Batman 23, as we return to a beloved character and world. Hey, I'm Brian from BMA Comics Con, and we're going to do a recap and review of Batman 23. But this is part 3 of the Button story arc, so you might want to go back and read and watch parts 1 and 2. Previously, in the button. The mysterious button reveals to Batman a glimpse of his father from Flashpoint, then brings Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash beats up Batman in revenge and then takes the button. But when Reverse Flash returns, he is half vaporized and the button is missing. Flash investigates the death of Reverse Flash and finds his Speed Force signature on Reverse Flash's dead body. But instead of telling Batman this, he tries to jump on the cosmic treadmill to follow Reverse Flash's radiation signature into the time stream to find out what happened. But before he leaves, Batman catches up to him and joins him. Unfortunately, they are thrown off track by a storm and land in the Batcave. But this is the Batcave of Thomas Wayne from Flashpoint. This issue begins with Thomas Wayne sad and ready to quit, as Wonder Woman and Aquaman have sent people after him. As you'll remember from Flashpoint, his world was supposed to be destroyed to save his son, so his living must mean that Bruce Wayne must be dead and so he's ready to die and take his enemies out with him. Tone changes from sad quickly as Batman and Flash arrive in his Batcave. But Thomas doesn't believe it, and once again he attacks Flash demanding an explanation. Flash can't explain what happened, why the Flashpoint world wasn't destroyed, but this is Bruce Wayne, his son. There's only time for a small moment for father and son to share before it's time to get to business as the Atlanteans and Themyscarians raid the Batcave. Father and son team up to fight while Flash repairs the cosmic treadmill. Because happiness wasn't meant for Batman, as soon as they finish fighting, the Flashpoint world begins to come apart again, and they must leave now to survive. But instead of joining them, Thomas stays and just gives Bruce some parting words, which was to quit being Batman, look for happiness, give Damien the life that he wasn't able to give Bruce, and let Batman die with him. And then Flash upholds his original promise to take care of Bruce and gets him out of there as Thomas suits back up and readies to die as Batman. Of course Batman wants to go back, but there's nothing to go back to. And then Reverse Flash runs past them holding the button still. He knows who the power of the button belongs to and he's ready to face him. He's so determined that he doesn't even try to mess with Flash. Nor does he heed Flash's warning that it will kill him. Who is the hand of God? Is it possible Thomas Wayne could have survived? Will Flash and Batman be able to keep up to reverse Flash to see who God is? These are the questions I have for the next issue. This story has everything. I love the art and the story is amazing. I can't complain about anything. I like seeing Batman meet his father and it was written perfectly that they didn't have too much time so that it'll cause major changes to his character because I'm sure that he's not going to quit being Batman. But it meant something to me to see this vulnerable side of Batman in a way that completely breaks down his character and motivation. Also, way to bring back Thomas Wayne Batman. Hopefully Warner Brothers sees this and gives the green light to a Flashpoint Batman movie. In that last page, there's a blue light shining on the button. I wonder if that is Dr. Manhattan calling for him. Let me know what you think it is. Take a look at these two pictures of Bruce and Thomas. A is from Flash 21 and B is from Batman 22. Which one do you like better? Finally, I've gotten caught up on the button videos. And just when I do, they announce Flash 22 is going to be delayed. So you should subscribe to know when that video goes up. And now that I'm into my second year here on YouTube, I'm going to try to give you videos more consistently. Another one that I caught up on is Secret Empire, so make sure to check those videos out. It's a really good story, you're going to want to read Secret Empire. Let me know what you thought of this issue down below in the comments. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, until next time, Brian out.